A recent study has unearthed cryptic geoglyphs and bewildering earthworks hidden deep within the Amazon rainforest. The research suggests that this once thriving region, now shrouded in mystery, was home to nearly a million souls before Columbus's arrival. The advanced LADAR technology that unveiled these enigmatic traces of civilization has lifted the veil on an eerie past. Scientists have further unraveled a spine-chilling tale of how the Europeans may have been the harbingers of doom, causing the rapid annihilation of the entire ancient Amazonian population in a matter of days. The Amazon rainforest is the largest rainforest in the world, covering an area of approximately 5.5 million square kilometers across nine South American countries. This vast expanse of lush green vegetation is home to an incredible variety of flora and fauna and is widely recognized as a global treasure. The Amazon rainforest is located primarily in the Amazon Basin, a lowland area covering much of northern South America. The basin is bordered by the Andes Mountains to the west, the Guiana Shield to the north, and the Brazilian Highlands to the south. Joe Rogan proposed a very interesting and almost bizarre theory about how the Europeans came to the Amazon and became the reason why the Amazonian civilizations became extinct. Rogan thinks that the reason some civilizations in the Amazon disappeared is that, when the Europeans first began to explore and colonize the Amazon region in the 16th century, they brought with them a host of diseases to which the local populations had no immunity. These diseases included smallpox, measles, and influenza, among others, which rapidly spread among the indigenous communities, leading to the devastating epidemics that killed off large numbers of people. The LiDAR technology sent beams of light through trees and got a very detailed idea of the ground below. Thanks to technological improvements, we can now quickly gather and examine this data to create a 3D model. This model can help us find hidden buildings or structures. During this research, the team found more than just a few new hills. They also found large constructions like platforms, pyramids, defenses, and canals. These structures connected hundreds of towns of different sizes. The discovery challenges the idea that the locals were nomadic or only lived off what they could find in nature. Instead, it suggests that they may have lived in one place and farmed for food. One such lost civilization, which has captivated the imagination of explorers and historians alike, is the fabled lost city of Z. The discovery of this ancient metropolis has sparked a new era of understanding and appreciation for the vast cultural heritage and ecological significance of the Amazon rainforest. The lost city of Z is believed to have an advanced and sophisticated civilization that thrived in the Amazon rainforest centuries ago. The legend of this lost city was popularized by British explorer Percy Fawcett in the early 20th century. Fawcett, who had explored various parts of South America, was convinced that an ancient and highly advanced city lay hidden in the dense and uncharted Amazon rainforest. Despite several expeditions, Fawcett never found the city and his disappearance in 1925 further fueled the mystery and allure of the lost city of Z. The discovery of the lost city of Z was the result of a multinational and interdisciplinary collaboration between archaeologists, anthropologists, historians, and geographers. This collaborative effort brought together experts from diverse backgrounds to pull their knowledge and resources in the quest to unveil the truth behind the enigmatic legend of the ancient city. Modern technology played a crucial role in the discovery of the lost city of Z. Satellite imagery allowed researchers to study the Amazon rainforest remotely, identifying areas of interest and potential archaeological sites without the need for invasive ground exploration. This helped to narrow down the search area and guided subsequent field expeditions. Ground-penetrating radar and lidar were instrumental in mapping the city's layout beneath the dense vegetation of the Amazon rainforest. These remote sensing technologies revealed the true extent of the city's infrastructure, including its roads, buildings, and agricultural fields. This non-invasive approach to exploration minimized the impact on the delicate rainforest ecosystem and preserved the integrity of the archaeological site. Once the potential location of the lost city of Z was identified, field expeditions were organized to conduct on-site archaeological excavations. These excavations unveiled a wealth of artifacts and structural remains, providing tangible evidence of the city's existence and the advanced nature of its civilization. Artifacts such as pottery, tools, and sculptures provided insights into the daily lives, religious beliefs, and artistic sensibilities of the city's inhabitants. The discovery of extensive agricultural systems, including the use of terra preta, showcased the advanced agricultural techniques of the ancient civilization. 
These sustainable practices enabled the city's inhabitants to thrive in the challenging environment of the Amazon rainforest while maintaining a delicate ecological balance. As archaeologist Dr. Maria Lopez said, the discovery of the lost city of Z has forever changed our understanding of the Amazon rainforest's cultural and historical significance. This ancient metropolis, hidden beneath layers of dense vegetation, demonstrates the incredible adaptability and resilience of human civilizations in the face of challenging environments. As more evidence was gathered, researchers began to piece together the complex history of the lost city of Z. Carbon dating of the artifacts and structural remains indicated that the city flourished several centuries ago, with its peak coinciding with the height of other advanced civilizations in South America, such as the Inca and the Maya. By studying the architectural sites, linguistic elements, and cultural artifacts, researchers have started to form a clearer picture of the people who once inhabited the city, their social structures, and their interactions with neighboring civilizations. With the discovery of the lost city of Z, efforts have been made to protect and preserve the archaeological site for future generations. Conservation measures, including restricting access to the site and monitoring its condition, have been implemented to safeguard its cultural and historical significance. Ongoing research into the lost city of Z continues to yield new findings and insights, enriching our understanding of this ancient civilization and its place within the broader context of human history. As more discoveries are made, the legend of the lost city of Z evolves from a mere myth into an emblem of the fascinating and complex tapestry of human civilizations that once thrived in the heart of the Amazon rainforest. The lost city of Z stands as a testament to the ingenuity of ancient societies, showcasing their advanced urban planning, agricultural systems, and artistic capabilities. Its existence challenges our preconceived notions of the Amazon rainforest's historical habitation and forces us to reconsider the ecological and cultural complexities of the region," said Professor David Robinson, anthropologist and South American studies specialist. Furthermore, in the last few years, researchers have stumbled upon some intriguing circular land formations in the western part of the Amazon rainforest. This discovery is considered one of the most significant and surprising archaeological finds of recent times. These particular geoglyphs consist of multiple enclosures, with some sites featuring up to six of them. They vary in size, with diameters ranging from 100 meters to 300 meters, and they are surrounded by ditches that can be as wide as 11 meters and about 4 meters deep. These mysterious circular formations were discovered during the 1980s, when a massive deforestation project was carried out in the Amazon colonization region. It's surprising how many of these formations there are. Over 450 geoglyph sites have been identified within a 13,000 square kilometer area in the state of Acre, Brazil, and new ones keep emerging. In fact, every time a section of rainforest is cleared, these geoglyphs seem to appear. It raises questions about what they are and why there are so many of them. Despite the dedicated efforts of Brazilian and Finnish archaeologists in the last 15 years, we still have unanswered questions about these enigmatic land formations. The geoglyphs are believed to have been built during the Amazonian formative period, between 1,000 and 2,000 years ago. During this time, other groups in various parts of Amazonia were also leaving their mark on the environment by creating mounds, ditches, earthworks for farming, and man-made soils. The geoglyphs fit into this trend, but are different from any other sites found in the Amazon basin. Archaeological investigations indicate that the strange circular formations are not remnants of ancient villages, since the areas enclosed by the ditches usually do not contain any cultural remains. The few artifacts that are found are mostly located in the ditches and may include deliberately broken ceramic objects that are decorated. These discoveries near the site entrances are similar to those found in Neolithic causewayed enclosures. The prevailing theory among archaeologists who have studied these enigmatic formations is that they were used for ceremonial purposes rather than as habitations. These monuments, which consist mainly of circles and squares, are often perfectly geometric. Denise Sakan and Sana Sanaluma, who have studied the geoglyphs extensively, believe that these sites were used for gathering and celebrating important events, such as fruiting seasons, as well as social occasions like weddings, births, and funerals. They also suggest that the broken ceramics found near the entrances could have contained food and drink consumed by participants, with the ceramics then left as offerings. The geoglyphs are interesting for several reasons, said study lead author Jonas Gregario de Souza, an archaeologist at the University of Exeter in England. 
Despite the impressive architecture of these features and the effort and planning that must have been involved in their construction, archaeologists have actually found very few remains of habitation inside the enclosures. That means they were probably not settlements, and the most likely explanation is that they were used for ceremonial gatherings, although their exact function is still a mystery. The question of where the builders of these geoglyphs lived remains unanswered, and it adds to their enigmatic nature. With that, we have yet to discover any evidence of related settlements, which means our knowledge of the societies that created these earthworks is quite limited. One possibility is that the builders of these geoglyphs belonged to a network of local, semi-autonomous groups that were connected by a strong shared belief system. Nevertheless, the discovery of these geoglyphs goes against all the long-standing ideas that the Amazonian region was untouched wilderness and a cultural backwater before European colonization. For a long time, many believed that the Amazonian region was not conducive to the development of complex human societies. The soil was considered to have limited agricultural potential, and protein sources were few and far between. Ethnographic studies also suggested that only small groups of modern indigenous societies lived there. This perception of an uninhabited Amazonia fueled the idea that its forests represented nearly untouched ecosystems. Recent archaeological findings collected over the past few decades contradict the long-held belief that the Amazonian region was not capable of sustaining large, complex societies. Instead, there is now an abundance of evidence to suggest that these societies not only existed but also transformed their environment to make it more productive in some regions. This is most evident in areas where there are ample aquatic resources and major river floodplains. Despite evidence that large, complex societies existed in certain parts of the Amazonian region, there is still debate over the extent to which humans transformed the interfluvial upland forests, which comprise more than 90% of the region. These forests are characterized by poor soil quality, dense rainforest, and limited access to aquatic resources. This raises the question, who would have been willing to inhabit such an inhospitable environment? The builders of the geoglyphs seem to have been undeterred by the challenges posed by the inhospitable Amazonian environment. Most of the geoglyphs in Acre, which are located at elevations between 180 and 230 meters above sea level and are situated far from major rivers, serve as a remarkable testament to the societies that once inhabited these seemingly uninhabitable ecosystems, at least by Western standards. Moreover, a series of Stonehenge-like structures, remarkably preserved and hidden deep within the Brazilian Amazon, has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. In the heart of the Brazilian Amazon, archaeologists stumbled upon a series of monumental stone structures, reminiscent of the world-famous Stonehenge in England. Composed of large, carefully arranged stones, these structures were found in a remote, previously unexplored region of the Amazon. This discovery has been hailed as one of the most significant archaeological finds of the century, prompting a flurry of research and investigation to unravel the secrets behind these ancient monuments. For a while, the big geometric enclosures that had ditches around them were covered and concealed by trees. However, due to recent deforestation, we now know that there are over 450 geoglyphs present in the area. The discovery of the Amazonian Stonehenge began when a team of archaeologists, led by Dr. Juliano Machado, embarked on an expedition to study the ancient settlements in the Brazilian Amazon. The team had heard local legends of mysterious stone structures deep within the rainforest, but had little evidence of their existence. Intrigued by these stories, and armed with cutting-edge remote sensing technology, the researchers ventured into the unexplored regions of the Amazon. It was during one of their aerial surveys that the team noticed unusual circular patterns on the forest floor. Intrigued, the archaeologists organized a ground expedition to the site, where they found the first of the Stonehenge-like structures. Overwhelmed by the scale and complexity of the discovery, the team contacted international experts and agencies to help document, study, and preserve the site. These circular formations were composed of large, upright stones known as monoliths, which vary in size and weight, with some reaching up to several meters in height and weighing several tons. The stones used in the construction of these structures are predominantly granite and basalt, materials known for their durability and resistance to weathering. The discovery raises many questions about the construction techniques employed by the ancient civilization responsible for its creation. Transporting and erecting these massive stones would have required exceptional skill, ingenuity, and labor. Scholars believe that the builders might have used a combination of levers, rollers, and ramps to move the monoliths from their quarries to the construction site 
and then to lift and position them. The techniques used to shape and smooth the stones remain a mystery, as the tools and methods required for such tasks are yet to be identified. The Amazonian stone henge bears a striking resemblance to other megalithic structures found around the world, such as Stonehenge in England and the Carnic Stones in France. These similarities suggest the possibility of a shared architectural tradition or a cultural exchange between distant ancient civilizations. However, the Amazonian Stonehenge also possesses unique features that set it apart from other megalithic sites. For instance, the use of local materials and the specific arrangement of the monoliths may be indicative of regional variations in construction techniques and symbolic meanings. According to Jennifer Watling, a postdoctoral researcher at the Museum of Archaeology and Ethnography at the University of Sao Paulo, the carved ditches found in the area are huge, with measurements up to 36 feet wide and 13 feet deep, and the diameter ranging from 300 to 1,000 feet. In fact, these features are so impressive that they can be compared to the most remarkable examples of pre-Columbian monumental architecture found anywhere in the Americas. Jennifer and her colleagues documented these findings in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell 